History says the first trolls lived in happy, peaceful isolation. They frolicked in the forest, one with nature, wise in the ways of the woods, and bored out of their skulls. Then one fateful day, man arrived, and suddenly trolls had a new pastime. Superstitious and wary, jumpy of his own shadow, man was the perfect target. The old trolls took great joy in tormenting mankind. The downside, of course, was that man soon figured out this could work both ways. The spirited trolls embraced this new interaction, turning it from mere pastime to the very centerpiece of their lives. They even gave it a name, the Prankapalooza. As humans discovered other lands, the trolls were there to keep them company. Though they remained hidden, trolls made their mark on the new world and lived on in song and legend. As the humans spread across the land, so did we. Trolls have carried on in this secret competition of which to this day. We like to think we're winning. The humans have forgotten we still exist, so trolls won, humans nothing. Dag, nab, rackin', frackin', horn, swagglin', sassafras. Ouch! 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 Ow. Well, ouch! You can't sorry, no good deed to ugly little bugaboos. Huh? Hmm? Ah. Yes. Aha! Sago bottom? Well, yeah, um. Snake. It's a big one. Just saved your lives. Miss Jessica was looking for you, Mr. Sago bottom. All the canoes sank this morning. Mm -hmm. She wants them fixed by the summer jamboree boat race. Ah. Mm -hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there, <have it. laughs> Boy, you're really living up to your name. <laughs> Time to go. Ah, Finn. Thought I'd find you here. 
You weren't planning on ducking out of the ceremony, were you? No, of course not. <laughs> Good. Make yourself useful. I want you to carry my box of cookies for me when I hand them out to the younglings. Can't your pals do that? It looks better if my brother does it. It makes people think he supports me. He does support me, doesn't he? Yes. Well, I, I wanted to talk to you about that. Ah, what's the family motto? Deeds, not words. We don't talk, we do. Good talk, good deed. Now come help your sister be elected prank queen. <laughs> Jarvin, you're only leading by a few points. Not after today. This is my year. Well, you only got two more days to make it happen. And we will. Mm. Trolls of the Oswego Warren. Another summer's winding down, and just like the traveling birds, the humans will soon depart. It is time once again for the final hijinks of the year's Prankapalooza. The competition was intense. A lot of new faces out there making names for themselves. Keeping the human's ego in check was some of the best pranking I've seen since I was a kid. <sighs> time to take a nap. Yes, sir, I was quite the prankster in my time. The camp wasn't even built in those days. The humans slept in tents and were always on the lookout. Had their heads on swivel, but they did. They had to be crafty. I mean, not like today, when most of the silly sods have their heads buried in whatever they're doing. You snap your fingers and you can startle them. It was Every the year bed. with this. Next will be the story of the greatest old. prank ever pulled. I know, I know, but honestly, at this point, I feel like it's just part of the tradition. And the, the hairs on his head turned turn white, white as the driven, driven snow. snow. Now that was a prank. <laughs> his hair turned white as the driven snow. Now that was a prank. Speaking of which... What? What's that you say? Oh, oh, right. Our sweet trolls. Each of you has spent the summer months pranking. Now we've kept a tally of the best and most original pranks. The final hijinks are your last chance to up your scores. But good luck this year. The top spots are all but locked. The top three contenders for Prank King are Clorg, who hid rotting fish in the administration <laughs> building. That place stank so badly the humans had to work outside. <laughs> ben Tuzler, who switched all the salt in the humans' mess hall with sugar. We could hear the howl from here. <laughs> and finally, Last year's run-up and leader for this year's prank of a loser crown, Jarvik. <laughs> that stunt you pulled with the canoes was amazing, Yarsa. How did you manage to sink all six canoes at the same time? <laughs> I was smart, not just sneaky. I poked holes in the canoes right above the waterline and patched them with mud. When the mud got wet, the canoe sank. And hello, swimming lessons. Well done, Lass. Well done. The best part is that there's still three canoes they haven't found yet. <laughs> well, I have the latest tallies here. With nearly 1,000 points, young Jarvik here is well on her way to becoming this year's prank queen. Jarvik! 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 Great honor indeed. But anything can happen in the next two days. <laughs> it's all about hard work and focus. I learned that from you, Yusuf. A lesson every troll needs to take to heart. We teach humans a thing or two about life. And we need to make sure Olaf's life is never boring. It doesn't get any better than that. Jarvik! 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 Let today's pranking begin. The biggest and best prank today and tomorrow will determine the prank of Palooza's winner. 
May the best troll win. Remember, a prank a day keeps boredom away. Or, if Olaf's not mad, your prank was bad. What are we gonna do today? <laughs> not sure yet. Something big, really big. Please, stop. One of these days you're going to push them too far. No such thing. Say, you weren't heading off to the woods again, were you? He just wants a good seat to watch the prank of Palooza, right? Do you have a prank in mind? Pet, it's a real good one, since you've been saving it up since the last prank of Palooza. When you didn't compete at all. No, I didn't, Jarvik. And I'm not competing this year either. You're wrong about humans. Some are kind. When you tricked that kid into getting lost last year, the entire camp turned out to look for her. They care for each other, just like we do. Well, they don't care about us. They might if we stop pranking them. Stop pranking? Ben, it would show the humans that trolls have gone soft. We'd never get any peace. The humans would go back to chasing us. You don't know that. Don't I? It's been like this for centuries. If we show any weakness, the humans chase us down and drive us from our homes. But it just feels wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what else is wrong? He's got candy beetles in his sack, and he's not sharing. Oh, ho, ho. that's not nice. You'll have to make up for it by giving us all of them. <laughs> Jarvis. Now get out of here. Next time I see you, it should be at the camp pranking. Sooner or later, you're going to do something so bad that the humans will never forget it. I'm out of here. What a knothead. <laughs> that knothead may have just given me my best idea ever. What do you mean? Something so big, the humans will never forget it. <gasps> Come on. Why am I the only one? Huh. Hmm. Huh? Whoa! Whew. That was close. Ow! <sighs> ow! 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 Stupid Jarvik. I want to be a queen. Let's prank people. It's tradition. It worked. Olaf! Come out of there, you little... Whoa! Ah, gotcha. <laughs> I have you now. Finally! After all the traps, all the tears, and all the time, I have my proof. Fame and fortune are mine. I'll get to meet the mayor, or maybe the president, or the queen of England. I'm pretty sure I'll get knighted for this. Sir Olaf Pampas Hercules. No! No, 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 no! No, no! You're mine! Time to go. Oh, no, you don't! No, no! Ouch! Come on, son, dang, now, cracking, cracking. That was close. Brand. No! What happened? This was my moment. No, no, come back here. Yeah! Mr. Stakelbarna? Is he okay? I don't know. Olaf Log, day 10,952. Fame, fortune, they were mine. I had a troll in my hands and he escaped me. 
done in by my own genius. The double trap turned out to be a brilliant idea. I just need to remember where I set them. The video was blurry, again. However, the flower bombs I devised worked. Too well, in fact. They revealed the monster while invisible, but the excess flower coated my camera lens. 30 years ago, I saw my first troll as a camper here, and I've dedicated my life to proving it. They're out there. They know I know, and they know I'm coming. Game on, Olaf out. Hold still, Mr. Dragonfly. I'm trying to get your wings right. I can't believe I almost mistook you for a common green darner. Mom would have spotted the difference right away. You're so much bigger. A giant darner. This is so cool. Mom's gonna freak when she sees there were giant darners here and she missed it. Chalk up another win for me on Bug Bingo. <laughs> hey, nerd, you talking to bugs again? No, I wasn't talking to the bugs, Flint. I was talking to myself. You say that like it's not any dumber, Freden. Freden the friendless. <laughs> He's got no friends, so he talks to himself. I do too have friends, Flint. Really? Name one. Um, well, I mean, it, it's no one you'd know. Like I said, you don't have any friends, Freden, except for the bugs. <laughs> yeah. I do too have friends at home, but my mom and dad wanted me to go to camp. To get you out of their sight, you mean? I bet they don't even like you either, Freden. Freden. They're just thrilled that you're gone for a whole month. That's not true, <laughs> you bully. What'd you just say, Freden? Nothing, Adrian. I didn't say anything. Oh, you're a liar too, Freden? Freden the liar, Freden the liar. No, I was, I didn't mean. Uh-oh, it looks like Freden's gonna cry again. <laughs> oh, you gonna cry, Freden? The counselors are right over there, Freden. Why don't you go and cry to them again, huh? What a baby. Yoink. <laughs> hey, give that back. Oh, give what back, Freden? Hey, it's mine. My cool new diary. It's not a diary. It's a scientific notebook. Give it back. Oh, yeah. My mom gave it to me. Then why did you use it to pay the toll? Ha! What toll? Got you it. took it from me. Yeah, because you right owe here. me for letting you go cry to the counselors, Freden. Give <laughs> it back. No way, Freden. Hey, hey, easy with my scientific I, notebook. I don't want to tear it. Give it. <laughs> Stop it. You can't get Stop it. it. Stop Freden. it. Uh oh. Looks like I see a rip. <laughs> Look what you did. <laughs> what we did? Hey, Adrian, Freden tore your new science book and he's blaming us. I think someone needs an atomic wedgie. <laughs> hey, boys, what's going on? Miss Jessica. Oh, bully! Man, what a baby! <laughs> Careful, Freddy. Guys, uh, get over here right now! Man. Miss Jessica. Hey, aren't there no devices up here? <sighs> Flint, Walker, Adrian, Ranger. What have I told you about picking on the new kids? Honestly, I don't know what to do with you. Well, I hope it was worth it because you're both on kitchen duty. Let's go! Now we're in trouble. <laughs> Oh, you see that? It's probably nothing. It was like something was moving those papers. Ow! 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 I didn't even want to come here. I don't want to build character. I don't. I don't even know what that means. Let mom and dad talk me into this. <laughs> Worst summer ever. What? Who's there? Help! Help! Get off me! Ow! 
Would you oh, stop? Oh man, oh man, this is bad. Hayden, the boy who was eaten by monsters. I'm gonna be a campfire story. <laughs> Wait, you mean me? I'm not a monster. I'm a troll. Trolls are monsters. We are not. That's not a nice thing to say, especially when I just tried to help you with your notebook. You wanted to help me. Help means eat in troll talk, right? What? Eat you? No. Who would want to eat a human? Gross. Okay, but if you don't want to eat me, why did you trap me? I didn't trap you. That's a human trap. I know. I'm caught in it. No, no, no. It's Olaf. He set that trap to catch trolls. He did? Why would he... Do they work? Well, you're the one in the troll <sighs> trap. You tell me. <laughs> would you like some help? Please? I can't seem to get the knot undone. Yeah. Olaf has gotten pretty clever over the years. This trap, the more you struggle, the tighter it gets. Here, grab the rope. Now, pull it towards you. There, you see? Whoa! I'm sorry, I, I didn't know it would do that. Uh, can you help me down? Thanks. You're welcome. My name is Finn. Well, my name is Hayden. Why did you bring my notebook back? Well, I have a notebook too. And I know how important mine is to me. Oh, uh, well, uh, you're spying on us? Oh, no. Humans fascinate me. I want to prove that humans aren't all that bad. What do you mean? Other trolls think humans would drive us from our homes if they knew we were real. So, they play mean tricks on people, like Olaf, to drive them away. Does Olaf try to trap you because you prank him, or do trolls prank him because he tries to trap you? Honestly, I don't know how or who started it, but it's gotten out of control. How do you stop something like that? I don't know, but I want to stop it before someone gets hurt. Ah! Oh no, Ola! They must have heard the trap go off. Dag, nab it! So they figured out the tension rope trap of total trapping. Very clever. Hmm. 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 Ah. Yes. I see. That way. Uh, uh, come on. So, uh, how many other humans have you met? Uh, oh, um, counting you? One? Really? How did you know I wouldn't trap you like Olaf tries to? I didn't. I took a big risk. Why? Because I saw you sketching the dragonfly. You didn't have your eyes glued to one of those machines like everyone else. You were different. You were like me. You see nature. My mom taught me that. She's awesome. She's an entomologist. What's that? She studies bugs. Bugs? Well, why didn't you say so? I can show you lots of bugs. I know everything about this forest. Well... I know a lot, and I'll share. A giant darner! Come on, I know where he's going. Wow, so cool. Wow. There's so many, I can't believe it. They're amazing. Ah. That's amazing, Ben. Wow, so cool. Shh. Uh, Ben? Ben? Ben! <laughs> Quick! Save the signs or they'll get ruined! Miss Jessica! The signs of the Jamboree got wet! Great job, but you won't score a lot of points with just that. I know, but I did figure out how I was gonna win the contest. How? Oh by doing what I just did to the whole camp. I'm really glad I met you. Until now, this whole summer camp thing has been terrible. This has been a great day for me, too. I met a human for the first time, and he turned out to be nice. Uh-oh, it's getting late. They're definitely gonna notice if I'm not there for bunk check. I gotta go. Ugh. Ugh. Ow! Ow! Ouch! 
Well, I, that that wasn't so. Yo! Wait for me here. I'll come back after bunk check. I'll be here, and then I'll show you a tree full of glow caps. Cool. Bye. Okay, okay, single file now. No pushing. Uh, uh I know. Hot dogs are exciting. Miss Jessica. All right, go in, grab your trays. No cutting! There's plenty for everyone. Hey, headphones off, dear, thank you. No staying up late now. Bye-bye, summer jamboree tomorrow, huh? Huh? I hope. Hayden, you're such a good artist. Would you help me make new banners tomorrow and set them up? Huh? Oh, um, yeah, sure, Miss Jessica. Thank you, Hayden. Good night, boys. Psst. Ben, are you here? Right here. Ooh, glow caps. Are we gonna see the glow caps? And what is a glow cap? You'll see, you'll love it. <laughs> huh? Ah. I have you now. Sure is a lot scarier at night. It's less scary when Olaf's not around. You still want to see the glow caps tonight? Yes. If I was brave enough to sneak out, I want to see what they are. Hold on. Just have to find the main stem and come on in. It's not much, but if you want, you can have some of my blueberries. Thank you. I had a grub sandwich on mushrooms, but I lost it earlier today. That doesn't sound good at all. Oh, it's the best. Don't you eat grubs? No, I'm more of a hot dog man myself. What's a hot dog? You know what? I actually don't know. Probably grubs. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. I'm, I'm kind of scared. I've never done anything like this before. It's okay, Hayden. We're perfectly safe here. And we have more glow caps in here than I have in my room in the warrant. Wow, that must be beautiful. It is. Where is it? It's underground, under the roots of a very old, very big tree, near the foot of an old trestle bridge. I know exactly where that is. I, I sketched a drawing of it last week. I'd sure love to see your home someday. I wish you could see. You know what I wish I could see? Your home. I've only ever seen the camp. I live far away, in the city. What's a city? Well, for one, there are buildings that reach up to the sky instead of trees. Uh, there's a lot of traffic. You gotta look both ways before you cross the street. <laughs> you might get hit by a bus or even a bicycle. <laughs> Oh no, it's morning. Is that a problem? It is if they find out I'm not in my bunk. And Jessica will be super mad if she finds out I was out all night. She'll make me wash all the dishes after the jamboree. My sister would be super mad at me if she even thought I was out all night with the human. Yeah, but nothing bad happened. Doesn't this prove humans are okay? Not to her. She won't believe it till she meets someone nice like you. I'm willing to meet her. We'll have to think about it. We'll talk about it when we meet later. Okay. I'll wait for you by the trail marker nearest camp. What are you doing out here, kid? How come you aren't at breakfast with everyone else? I went out early this morning to sketch. I got lost. I'm sorry. You got lost, but now you're back. Just like that? I... I was exploring, and I found this really cool pond, and there were dragonflies, green darners, blue... I think you've seen a little more than that. 
you could tell me. You saw something, didn't you? I saw a squirrel, and I saw dragonflies and mushrooms. No, you saw something else, something small with green hair. No, um, I... Something about this high, something unusual. You saw something like that, right? No, sir. Something special, standing in the forest, standing in a golden patch of sun, a little green shape that shouldn't be there. Something you see and you realize you're looking at magic. You saw that, didn't you? Then you step into the trap he was setting up and get thrown into the pond and you realize you were looking at a monster. No, sir, I, I didn't see any of that. And you tell everybody and they laugh and they think you're crazy, but I'm not. No, so just tell me where you saw them. I saw bugs, I got lost, you found me, that's all that happened. Can you take me back now, sir? My feet hurt. All right, kick off! Yeah, yeah let's go! go. Come on. Ugh, this camp is falling apart! Hmm. Clark just substituted mayonnaise for butter in the camp mess hall. Ew, that's a pretty good prank. Yes, it was when I did it 22 seasons ago. He's going to have to do better than that if he wants to prank a Palooza crowd. This is great. We've got a free morning. I just have to be back by lunchtime. Great. Come on. There's some amazing things to see on the way to the Warren. You want to take me to your home? Are you sure? I thought about it, and I think it's the right thing to do. They need to see there's nice people out here. It'll be okay. Come on, Adrian. Looks like I found today's entertainment. <laughs> Shh. Be very still. You try. <laughs> there you go. Ow! Hey! Oops. Ah! Uh -huh. Time to go. Wow! So cool. Mm. Mm. Well, they ain't here. Oh, no. Wow. We are passengers. Just passengers. The dream of no place to sit. To rest our heads. And the wheels are turning around. <laughs> with a deafening sound. Running away to our own destination. Pressing the bottom. This is the oldest tree in the forest. Someone tried to cut it down once, but they couldn't do it. <laughs> Looks like the saw just got stuck. Yep. No one knows how it happened. Not even old Yusuf. He says there's a lesson in all of this, if we're smart enough to find it. What lesson? I'm not sure yet. A lot of trolls have guessed, but Yusuf says no one has gotten it right yet. So, the Warren is just on the other side of the clearing. We should be there by lunchtime. Lunchtime? Oh no, I have to go back. I told Miss Jessica I'd help her make the banners for the Bye Bye Summer Jamboree this morning. What about the Warren? The banners shouldn't take me long. You can show me after. Come on, it's Sloppy Joe's for lunch today. If you're invisible, you can sit with me. I'll share my ice cream with you. I should get home. I want to see what Jarvis up to. Oh, well, can you meet me at the trailhead in a few hours? The Jamboree is tonight, but I'll have some time before then. Yes, I'll show you the Warren then. I'll see you later this afternoon. Bye. Hold on, Jarvik. You want to do what? <laughs> we cut the totem pole so it falls. It'll smash into the legs of the water tower, knocking it over. When it hits the ground, it'll split open. All of the water will rush out and wipe out the picnic area and the cabins. Those kids will be wringing out their underwear for weeks. I don't know, Jarvik. 
Someone could get hurt. Relax. They'll all be down at the Jamboree at the lake. When they come back and find all their stuff soaking wet, priceless. This is so bad. Hey, hey! Trying to sneak by us, huh? Oh, no. <coughs> you! You stink. Mm, I know that smell. Humans? Where were you all night? I don't have to tell you. Finn, come back here. Oh, another good prank from Finn Tuzler. He just... Yusuf, Yusuf, Finn's been rolling around with humans. It's true. Olaf almost caught me. I wasn't paying attention and he grabbed me. You stood up to Olaf? Ha! <laughs> Way to go, little brother. I didn't think you had it in you. It wasn't a prank. Hey, everyone! Finn pulled his first prank. No, I was trying to escape. That's wonderful news, Finn. Let's add your name to the scoreboard. I didn't prank him. I caught him in his trap and... Finn, I told you before, humans are evil and mean. They'll set traps. Do you ever stop to think they only set traps because we pranked them? We have to stop. We pranked them because they set traps. They started it. Finn, it doesn't matter. We know the truth. The truth is, humans can't be trusted. I'm sorry, Yusuf, but I met a human I can trust. In fact, as I tried to tell you, he's the one that freed me from Olaf's trap. That doesn't mean anything. He could just be setting you up. No, he helped me after I helped him. Then your dangers are close to being confined to the Warren. He's my friend. I trust him. And you won't have to worry about punishing me, because I'm leaving for good. Nothing good can come of this. Don't worry, Yusup. I'll bring him back. Well, I, I told you two to be careful. How did you even get a hole like that, huh? We don't know. <laughs> Just set it down here. I I'll find Olaf. Hayden, did you set up the banners like you were supposed to? Yes, Miss Jessica. We gotta run. Meeting the guys for a hike. Oh, that's good. Which guys? Ah, uh, you know. The guys! Where's Olaf? I swear he's never around when I need him. Ugh. Well, that's it for the Jamboree canoe race. Might as well just have the party in the picnic area. Hey, has anyone seen Olaf? He needs to clear the picnic area by the water tower. We're moving the Bye Bye Summer Jamboree over there. Hey, Finn. Long time no see. Did anyone see you? No. I was careful. I brought you something. Toasty Pops! Try it. you like it. See? Aren't oh, they the greatest? Definitely not the word I'm looking for. I'm thinking more like disgustingest. Finn? Those Toasty Pops couldn't have been that bad. What is it? Is everything okay? I left the Warren today. For good. What? Why? I told them we were friends. They got really upset. To them, you and all the other humans are just a prank. But it's your home. I know. It wasn't an easy choice, but there's something else. Jarvik is planning a really big prank, and I'm worried kids might get hurt. I wanted to stop her, but I knew she wouldn't listen. We have to do something. But what? I don't know yet. She needs to know this is way out of line, even for her. We'll figure something out. Time to go. <laughs> Finn is trickier than I gave him credit for. I know we beat him to the camp. Do you think he overheard us talk about your master prank? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe he knows he can't stop me. And that we wouldn't have allowed him to warn the humans. We have to find him. Clork, you take the dragonfly pond. Toozler, you've got the hollow by the blueberry patch. Sapsy, open hop. Check the camp and I'll scope the water tower. This place is perfect. Nobody knows about this place but me. So what can we do about Jarvik? I, I, I don't even know where to begin. Neither do I. I've never even heard of a prank this dangerous. Isn't there anyone you can tell? Yesup is the Warren leader, but he's all wrapped up in tallying the prank of Palooza. I don't think he'll be much help. Well, I can't tell the counselors that invisible trolls are gonna crash the water tower. Huh, it's funny. The only person who believed me is Olaf. Do you think that would work? What? Getting Olaf to chase Jarvik and the others before they can pull off the prank? Actually, it might. 
He could be our secret weapon. Hey. Hey, Hopper. Did you find Finn? No. Not yet. But Sapseed's got herself stuck. <laughs> uh, boy, you're really living up to your name, huh? <laughs> After this, you might have to call me Seatless. I can't get up. This isn't a laughing matter, you two. Get serious. Okay, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> this stuff's pretty effective. Find more and grab all that you can. We can use it. I would, but my hands are stuck. Oh, you're hopeless. Here either. Hold off. Gotcha. Here. Come out of there, you little. Gotcha. Did you just grow hair? Uh, no. Then I just grabbed a spider. Yeah! Ow! 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 Any luck? None. I went all around the Dragonfly Pond, but didn't see them. We checked all the usual hiding places, by the campground, and even raided Olaf's office. Maybe he has a new hiding place. Huh. He must. Let's find it. Toozler, Clort, you check the banana slug, Glenn. Open hop, take the flypaper, and go back to the warren. See if Fen came back. Sapseed and I will check the old glow cap tree. If you don't find him, meet us there. You got it. Okay. Ooh, okay. Trolls, come out and play. Troll and human. Oh, get together. <laughs> huh. Oh. Aha. You now. Game on. Maybe if you bring me to the Warren, the trolls can see that humans can be friendly. That'd be great. But I just don't know if they're ready for that yet. Well, my mom says nothing beats a try but a failure, so we have to at least try. And then maybe we can bring Jarvik and the others to the camp, right? And Olaf and everyone else can see trolls are friendly. If they see us being friends, they'll realize they could be friends. Could it be that easy? With all this running around, <gasps> you will be able to have the tower ready to fall when the jamboree starts, Jarvik? Don't worry. If push comes to shove, I'll go set it off, and the rest of you can keep after Fen. Jarvik's coming. Hi. Oh, no. My backpack. There's no time. Oh, oh, oh. Humans! Catch him! I got you now, you furry green varmints. Two trolls in one sack. Two! After all this time, two trolls in one day? Olaf, you are good. Oh, I'm gonna be knighted for sure. I wonder if they'll let me keep it sore. Dun, da, 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 da. Looking at a man about to become famous, trolls. Sir Olaf, the triumphant trapper of trolls. No, it's 
Too many teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Any luck? No, but he was here with that human. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh, looks like he made more candied beetles. It can't be. He brought candied beetles for the human? That's our thing. He's never made them for anyone but me before. That's what I call persistent. Ben, are you here? I think we lost him. Ben, uh, stop. This isn't funny. What are you doing? Ben, did you? Ben, why are you doing this? Why? Because he's a troll. That's why human, and trolls hate humans. You, you're Finn's sister. Wow, nothing gets past you. Finn was right. You are an easy target. What? Finn wouldn't say that. He's my friend. Your friend? Are you serious? You bought that whole, I hate pranking, I'm a nice troll routine? That is hilarious. You mean it was a joke? I. I I don't believe you. That's your problem, kid. Think about it. I've got no reason to lie to you. You're a troll, and trolls like pranking? You've got to be lying. Okay, but if I'm lying because I'm a troll, what makes you think anything Fen tells you is the truth? I, uh, because... He's your friend, I believe you were going to say? Yeah, that's a lie. Don't you get it? <laughs> You're the mark, we're the muscle, and well, <laughs> Then it's the brains. This is his favorite prank. He lures some dopey kid like you in with his whole act. No, he... he... Then, once you're eating out of the palm of his hand, he did offer you a snack, right? <laughs> he then disappears, leaving you alone to walk into his trap, us. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> please, please stop. Why? Why? Don't know. He's in the bush somewhere watching this, <laughs> laughing. No, that's not true. That's impossible. <laughs> yeah, if Fan was your friend, he'd never let me do this. <sighs> Fan, I thought you were my friend. But you're nothing but a troll and a liar. I'm sorry I ever met you. I hate you. <laughs> and that is a prank that will stick. Goodbye, human. See you again, never. Hayden, I lost those two. Jarvik. Ben. Thank goodness you're okay. What are you talking about? There was a human here, one of those calf kids. He was going to tell Olaf where we live. He was? He even had a map. A map? Wait, do you mean Hayden? He's my friend. He wouldn't tell Olaf. He's a human, Fen. Of course he would. Thankfully, we destroyed his notebook. But... You're lucky. You have me looking out for you. <laughs> I'll bet he even tried to lure you into his camp, didn't he? Well, he did invite me for ice cream. And who else lives in that camp? Olaf. I rest my case. <laughs> but don't worry. I got rid of that smelly human before he could get his hands on you. I pranked him so hard, he'll never come back. Now, come on. We're going home. There's no need to thank me. I'm not going home. 
And Hayden wasn't going to hurt me. I need to talk to him. Ben, it's not your fault you were fooled. He's human, and that's what they do. No, you listen to me. Hayden's one of the kindest beings I know. Human or troll, Hayden could have captured me a dozen times over, and he did it. Why would this be different? I need to find him. Ben, I'm your big sister. I'm ordering you to come home. No, I have to do this. I've always done everything you tell me to do. Well, not this time. I'm doing this for me. What are you looking at? Get back to the water tower. That totem pole won't cut itself. Huh? Okay. Sorry, Jarvik. This is turning into a real troll extravaganza. What do we have? The nest! I have you all now! <laughs> hey, Anna, over here. Brian, catch it, catch it. Oh, Hayden. Oh. Toss it over here. Hey, Hayden, don't you want to play? Hayden, go away. I need to talk to you. Oh, now you want to talk? Tearing up my book wasn't enough? You want to insult me too? I didn't do that. I'd never do that. I'm your friend. Ex-friend. <laughs> go away. You had your fun. Come on, this way. <laughs> that was close. Too bad she didn't run you over. That is not nice. Were you nice when you tore up my book? I thought we were pals. We still are. That was all my sister, Jarvis. She found out that I told you where the Warren was. That's why she ruined your notebook. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. Jarvik blamed you for everything. She said you'd done this before. You should know me well enough by now to know that that's not true. Jarvik says trolls lie about everything. How do I know you're not lying right now? Because I didn't lie to you about the dragonflies, or the deer, or the glowcap tree. I haven't lied about anything because we're friends. And I know what this means to you. How do I know this isn't... Hayden, this is the whole point of friendship. You either trust your friends, or they're not your friends. Hey, you're visible! It's worth getting seen if it helps you believe me. I'm still not sure that I do. Jarvik says you do this all the time. You really believe that about me? That's her thing. That's what she does. Bye. Fine. Don't trust me. But Jarvik wasn't lying about the water tower. She's going to drop it at the Jamboree. You'd say anything at this point. I've had enough of your lies. She doesn't know people are going to be there. It's going to be a disaster. Goodbye, Fen. Hmm? You con sorry, no good demon, ugly little bugaboos. No, oh, nice try. He's got trolls in there. So? Hayden. Maybe Olaf has the right idea. This is so bad. Not laughing now, are you? Wait till I get you back at my office. That's when I get the last laugh. <laughs> All right, kick off. Yeah. <laughs> gonna be famous, gonna be famous, gonna be famous. That was not a good shortcut. <sighs> well, I guess I can only count on myself like a true prank queen. All these years, vindicated, all the doubts, vanquished. All my problems, uh, uh, vamoosed. 
Ouch. I don't know how you do it or how long you can do it, but I've got a brand new infrared camera that doesn't care if you're invisible. Say Nobel Prize. Do they give Nobel Prizes for this? They must. Somebody gives prizes for this. Olaf Hampus Hercule Farnsworth Stegglebottom, Nobel Prize winner. I like the way that rolls off the tongue. Hmm. And now that I know where your nest is, I'm going to go back and collect a few more of your buddies. A room full of trolls gets me a room full of awards. Thank you, Mr. President. Why, yes, I would like to dance with the First Lady. Sure you don't mind? Can she tango? <laughs> Nothing to say? No laughs? Guess it's hard to laugh when you're out of tricks, eh? <laughs> oh, so that's how it is. You just pulled your last prank, troll. <laughs> you and your pals are about to get a free trip to the front page of the internet. <laughs> and I'll be right there next to you. Olaf, number one troll hunter. Number one? You look more like zero to me. Hmm? Hello. Hmm. Boo! Don't fame and fortune are <laughs> mine! Why are you helping us? Well, I'll be honest. I had to think about it after you messed up my notebook. But you're helping us anyway? I was mad about what you did, but even you guys don't deserve this. I figured that if Finn was cool, you probably could be too, if I gave you a chance. You got pranked and you're still willing to help us? You guys are Finn's family. Family and friends are the only real thing anybody has. You always take care of your family. Humans believe that too? Of course. We're not that different. Thank you. I don't think a troll's ever said that to a human before. Ben and I do it all the time. We're friends. Oh, and you're welcome? Thanks. It feels so weird saying that. Now we better go help Fen. What are you doing? Pranking? Well, I never thought I'd say this, but now is not the time for breaks. See, I was right. You are cool. Hmm. Seriously, you have nothing better to do than chase us? That's sad, really. That's funny, coming from a monster that spends his day tormenting people. That's funny. We think you're the monster who tries to make us miserable. Whoa! Ow! 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 You know that was your fault, right? Stop messing with him. Let's go. I wasn't pranking him. Gotta go. Run! It won't do you any good. I know where you live. You messed with me for 30 years. Now it's my turn. Meet my masterpiece. And now the final touch. <laughs> Hayden, why are you here? Aren't you mad at us? I was, but nobody deserves to be in a cage. I second that, but Olaf isn't just going to give up. We still have to stop Jarvik. Let's split up. We'll go to the war room. Sap seat, open hop. Do you think you can stop Jarvik? I don't know, but we'll try. I'll go with you. She won't listen to you. Maybe not, but I have to try. Let's do this. <laughs> Thanks, Hayden. Do you hear singing? Huh, really?
really bad, Shaggy. Something is very, very wrong. Gonna be famous. What's all this? Jarvik said there wouldn't be anyone here. Oh no. They're setting up the jamboree. They moved it from the lake. Does that mean the entire camp will be here? Yeah. Directly under where the water tower would fall. This way. Let's go. <sighs> Olaf is coming. And he knows where we live. How? How is that possible? I accidentally gave us away when I was outside. I got careless. You, Fen? We'll deal with my mistake later. What we need to do now is focus on Olaf. He's on his way. I told you you couldn't trust humans. Now look, they're coming here to capture us. It's not the whole camp, just Olaf. And we need to teach him that he's wrong about us. It doesn't sound like we were wrong about him. If he was here right now, I'd take my stick and... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> 30 years of no trolls, and now nothing but trolls. <laughs> Please work. Everybody out of the tunnels. Top side, top side. What happened? This was my moment. No, no, come back here. Yes, sir. Are you okay? It's all my fault. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Apologize later. Running now. You run faster. Oh, no, you don't. One's good. <laughs> Just gotta catch one. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, really? Thanks for all your help. It was a lot of work, but this is finally shaping up to be a good day. <laughs> Jarvik, stop. I need to talk to you. Jeez. Ow. Jarvik. We need to talk to you. Not just me, but Sapseed and Oppenhop, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Triders, Jarvik, you have to stop this prank. <laughs> yeah, like I'm gonna listen to a human-loving turncoat. Jarvik, this is me talking, troll to troll. Stop this prank. There's kids in the clearing, and you're gonna hurt them. Nice try. They'll all be down at the lake for the big canoe race and cookout. Somebody sank all the canoes, remember? Quiet, you. Nobody wants to hear from a human. Nobody cares what you have to say. We do. He saved us from Olaf. It's some kind of trick. You won't stop me from pulling off the most legendary prank in history. They moved the party over to the picnic area, under the water tower. You're lying. You know the worst thing about liars? They can never tell when someone's telling the truth. On my honor. He's speaking the truth. You drop that water tower, people will get hurt. Is that what pranks are supposed to do? Why would you care? Because Fen is my friend. He showed me the beauty in this forest and that trolls are part of that. If you pull this prank, you'll be the monster Olaf thinks you are. He's right, Jarvik. Hurting all those kids, that's too far. They'd do the same to us if they could. If you really believe that, You'd have finished dropping the tower. You know he's right. <laughs> I just want to hit something really hard. Olaf's attacking the Warren. Will that do? Perfect. Sorry, no. Little bugaboos. That is really a bad idea, sir. Uh-oh. Ow! Ooh. Olaf, all you have to do is stop. All you have to do is stand still. Just gotta catch one. Yeah! How many of these things did I set? I can't believe that worked. Uh-oh. Yow! Ow! 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 Ow!
Ow! Ow! Ow! That has to hurt. Well, Do you want a hand? Ugly little bugaboos. Yeah! Ah! Really, Mr. Olaf, you look like you could use some help. Please, stop and let us get you unstuck. Unstuck? Help? I'm winning. I... You'll pay for that. No tricks. Mr. Olaf, can I help you? Yeah, sure. This is another prank. I know it. Honest, it's not. This has gotten out of hand. Our home is in danger. You're getting tangled in all of your own traps. And for what? No, it's all a ruse. I know your games, you little troll. Stop. There's a trap there. Not a chance. You liar. <laughs> Yo! Ah! Ah! Mr. Olaf? Okay, do your worst. You win. Go ahead and troll nap me. I'll be the campfire story they tell to scare the little kids every summer. Where do you get this stuff? If you promise to listen to what I have to say, I'll help you get out of all of your traps. Fine. I promise. Mr. Olaf, for years we've pranked you. We've done a lot of mean things to you, and we're sorry. But, Fen, you didn't prank him. I know, but I didn't stop anyone else from doing it, so I'm just as guilty. You. All those years ago, it was you. I'm sorry, too. I pranked you into that pond when you were a little boy. You've been my personal favorite ever since. <laughs> remember the trout at the bottom of your sleeping bag? That was you? <laughs> you remember the horseradish in your toothpaste? Do I ever? <laughs> oh, that was a good one. The squirrel in my sock drawer? No, that squirrel just doesn't like you. I knew you were real. At first, I just wanted to know I was right. So I got a job here just so I could hunt you. Then you played tricks on me, and I wanted to pay you back. I guess I got carried away. Well, we're no better. We went out of our way to prank you, and we're sorry. Well, I'm not. What's all this? I give up on a prank that was guaranteed to get me prank queen. And now, I find all of you making peace with our enemy? Jarvis, I know it's hard to give up the crown. But look, we found something better. Trolls and humans as friends. That's not my definition of better, Fen. I don't know what this is. It's friendship. I learned that today. For generations, trolls and humans have done one thing, give each other grief. And you know why? Because someone told them to do it. It's tradition. <laughs> well, duh. The problem is, we've been doing it for so long, we don't even really know why anymore. We just do it. We know why. Humans would capture us if we didn't. But maybe, just maybe, they wanted to capture us because we started pranking them. I didn't prank Hayden when I met him, and we were able to become friends. Well, I was gonna capture you to prove you were real and become famous. I was gonna be knighted and get a sword. I don't think that's how it works. Well, I can dream, can't I? Anyway, I... I always thought you were just bullies and this is what you had coming. And now? The more I tried to capture you, the more you pranked me. I wasted years chasing after you when I could have just been using my genius to help mankind. Well, the flower bombs were a bit inspired. You did almost catch me while I was setting up the canoe prank. Hmm. Huh. Well, I have to be inspired. The same traps never work twice on you. You do come up with some winners. <laughs> they kept me on my toes. Someone's becoming friends. I heard that. We're not friends. It's just mutual respect between artists. My friends, my beloved Oswe Trolls, a day like this has never happened in the history. Humans and trolls have sat down in friendship. I cannot deny a sign when I see one. My time has come. You're not. I'm not leaving you. But my time as your elder is at an end. I have found my replacement. Fen, please step forward. What? Fen? He's just a kid. True. Fen is young, but has proven that he's an old soul. He has solved the lesson of the oldest tree. I did? <laughs> yes, you did. The heart. The heart of the oldest tree refused to be cut. No matter how sharp the saw, how great the pressure. The heart of the tree did not break. I'm like that tree. I never stopped believing trolls and humans could be friends. Even after I thought Hayden gave up on me. Even after all of our fights with Olaf. 
What a load of nonsense. Is it, Jarvik? Even you, a champion prankster, changed your ways in the light of Fen's convictions. We all told him humans were bad, that pranking was the only way. And Fen told us no. He stayed true to himself, and now he has saved our home. Not just today, but for years to come. Wait. There's one more thing I gotta know. Who won? I'm sorry? The prank of Galooza! Did I win? Well, let me see. Well... It would seem that Jarvik has the most points. You're the winner! Woohoo! Yes! Is it really that important, Jarvik? It is to me, Finn! I can see which way the birds are flying, and if this is likely the last prank of Palooza, I want to go out on top. I... I don't think I'm ready for this. <laughs> You're not starting today, Sonny. I got a lot to teach you first. Go on, little brother. If you can handle me, you can handle this. Hey, Frayden. It's Hayden. We know Fra Do you? You keep saying it wrong. Careful, Frayden. You're on thin ice. It's Hayden, Flint. And come on. You know I can outrun either of you. The summer's almost over, Flint. We don't have to be friends, but can we at least get along? Come on. Hayden isn't fun anymore. A Jarvik! Booga booga to you too! <laughs> you know, this is a pretty good contender for best summer ever. Even after all that's happened? Sure. I made a great best friend. And Mr. Stigglebottom, if you're keeping the troll secret, what are you gonna do with all your traps? Well, Bigfoot's still out there. Come on. Even I don't believe in Bigfoot. <laughs> Trolls stopped pranking humans. A bond of trust and friendship grew to replace the mistrust and fear of the past. Olaf didn't get his knighthood, but he did get something better. Closure. And against all odds, Olaf and I became good friends. Jarvik enjoyed her short reign as prank queen before the title was retired. Afterwards, she found new purpose, helping Finn steer the warren in their new pastime of guiding the camp kids, secretly, of course. Finn created a friendly competition that encouraged the trolls to keep on their new path. They became the invisible helpers of the campground, finding lost kids, and even saving them from themselves when necessary. Later, when the warren was ready, Hayden and Fenn introduced the camp to the trolls. After the initial shock, Fenn was proven right. Humans and trolls could be friends. And in the fullness of time, Fenn took the leadership staff, the promenade cop for real. And with it, the leadership of the warren Eventually, he became the wisest elder of all. Of course, I was his teacher. Well, we can lay around all night, stay up till the morning light hits the streets. Just stay here in the moment and let it come naturally. Tomorrow I will dream of you.